the earth does not belong to man, man belongs to the earth. All things are connected, like the blood that unites us all. Man did not weave the web of life, he is merely a strand in it. Whatever he does to the web, he does to himself. We do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. Only when the last tree has died and the last river has been poisoned and the last fish has been caught will we realize that we cannot eat money. Humankind has not woven the web of life. We are but one thread within it. Whatever we do to the web, we do to ourselves. All things are bound together. All things connect. If all the beasts were gone, men would die from a great loneliness of spirit, for whatever happens to the beasts also happens to the man. All things are connected. Whatever befalls the earth befalls the sons of the earth. Earth does not belong to us. We belong to earth. Take only memories, leave nothing but footprints. We are all children of the Great Spirit. We all belong to Mother Earth. Our planet is in great trouble, and if we keep carrying old grudges and do not work together, we will all die. There is no death, only a change of worlds. The whites, too, shall pass perhaps sooner than other tribes. Continue to contaminate your bed and you will one night suffocate in your own waste. All things share the same breath, the beast, the tree, the man. The air shares its spirit with all the life it supports. We are part of the earth and it is part of us. The perfumes flowers are our sisters, the deer, the horse, the great eagle. These are our brothers. All things are connected like the blood which unites one's family. This we know. All things are connected. All creation is one. What we do to one, we do to the entire web of life. To harm the earth is to heap contempt on its creator. When the earth is sick, the animals will begin to disappear. When that happens, the warriors of the rainbow will come to save them. There is no quiet place in the white man's cities. No place to hear the unfurling of leaves in spring, or the rustle of an insect's wings. But perhaps it is because I am a savage and do not understand. The clatter only seems to insult the ears. Man belongs to the earth. Earth does not belong to man. Man does not weave this web of life. He is merely a strand of it. Whatever he does to the web, he does to himself. When the green hills are covered with talking wires and the wolves no longer sing, what good will the money you paid for our land be then? Contaminate your bed and you will one night suffocate in your own waste. Humans merely share the earth. We can only protect the land, not own it. Take only memories, leave only footprints. Tribe follows tribe, and nation follows nation, like the waves of the sea. It is the order of nature, and regret is useless. Your time of decay may be distant, 
but it will surely come, for even the white man cannot be exempt from the common destiny. All things are bound together. All things connect. Your religion was written on tablets of stone, ours on our hearts. We are part of the earth and the earth is part of us. Take nothing but memories, leave nothing but footprints. The Indian prefers the soft sound of the wind darting over the face, of the pond, the smell of the wind, itself cleansed by a midday rain, or scented with pen and pine. The air is precious to the red man, for all things are the same breath, the animals, the trees, the man. All things are connected. Whatever befalls the earth, befalls the children of the earth.